Hi guys, Tim from Redback Lasers. We're going to have a quick look at the 3L360R in combination with the auto tracking base for line lasers, specifically for the use of sight square or sight set out outside. So we're looking at that laser there we've got on screen, the 3L360R and that tracking base. If we go on the internet site, um, we can see first of all that auto tracking base comes in the kit with um, the auto tracking base itself, a remote control, your auto tracking laser receiver, um, laser your, your receiver staff bracket, then your laser mounts either for a standard survey tripod thread or if you've got a laser with a camera tripod thread on the base of the laser. All in the soft bag. So if we look at that base, there it is there. That also has a standard survey tripod thread underneath the base. So that is um, tripod mountable and we'll mount that on a different system to show you your remote control, your receiver, um, and those attachments as we've shown. The laser we're using is the 3L360R, it comes in the hard case, it comes with a um, magnetic mount bracket there which is variable in height, your charger for your lithium ion battery, also you've got a AA battery caddy and your laser target all there. That laser is available in a kit with a receiver, the 3L360R Plus. But given that we're talking about this in, com in um, combination with the tracking base which comes with the receiver, we don't necessarily need that laser with the receiver because we're going to end up with two receivers. Up to you. Alrighty, so if we go and have a look at, um, not, not that one, go and have a look at what we've got here. So we've got our laser, our receiver, our tracking base, our mount, then we've got also another mount to go on top of our tracking base and our ground plate. First of all with the ground plate we attach we attach the, um, the laser mount to the tripod thread under our tracking base and then that mounts directly over making sure two legs are on the uh, plate there. That can be located directly over our plumb point because everything now we're going to transfer up through that plumb point. So if we put our tracking base on there and we've got to lock that off from this side. So tighten that on. Then we've got the mount for the laser so we can screw that on. No, sorry. The mount for the laser goes on to our plate. So I nearly made a mistake. That holds our plate because when we actually turn this laser on, the plumb point is offset. So the whole idea of that, that plate is so that when we turn the laser on and turn on our verticals, okay, I'm going to get a bit of a shine there, we can adjust that to be directly over our central axis point, which is that tripod melt there. We can tighten that off at that point in time. We're going to get a little bit of wobble because of this plastic table we're on. So as you can see now, when that laser rotates, it rotates on that, that central axis that we had. So to turn the laser on, we simply unlock the pendulum, turn on our two vertical lines, so they intersect. We can turn on a third vertical, the, the third which is a horizontal line for our levelling. We don't need that on to do our, um, our vertical alignment or our, our, our sight square outside. To operate it with the receiver, we do need to activate pulse mode. You'll notice when I turn on pulse mode, that laser loses a little bit of intensity because now it's pulsating that laser really fast, so it appears a little bit less bright. This is an ultra bright red beam laser. It's a class 3 red beam laser. Um, does away with that fallacy of green is brighter than red. Uh, this, as most green lasers are class 3, this is a class 3 red beam laser and you're going to find it every bit as bright as your green, green beam lasers. We're going to get a range of up to 150 metres outside with that receiver when that laser is in pulse mode in broad daylight. So we're, we're kind of getting rotating laser distances off that receiver. So then to use this, first of all we want to power on the rotation base. That's powered by four AA batteries. With our receiver, we power on our receiver. I am going to turn off the pulse mode because I'm going to get a little bit of interference being so close to the laser beam. The other button here is, first of all, we've got um, an audible settings. So we can toggle that on and off. Um, and then the other one there, and when the light's activated, is a near and far mode. 
With the light on, that's far. With the light off, it's near mode. We do need that in far mode if we're operating this receiver more than eight to 10 meters away from the laser. So I just always operate it in far mode. When we come up to about three meters, you're gonna find that the laser could interfere with the receiver, so we'll put it into near mode. But the laser receiver won't pick up or will play up if it's within two to three meters of that laser. So you're gonna use it visibly if you're that close. Looking at the side of the receiver is our tracking function. So first of all, we wanna turn on our auto tracking feature. Now, the, the concept of doing a side alignment outside is first of all, we've got our vertical plumb point that we're rotating off. So a mark, whether it be on a string line or a datum on the ground. Then we go to a second mark with the receiver, marking up this line here, directly over our parallel point. Then with our receiver in with the auto tracking on, we can direct the laser to come around so clockwise or counterclockwise. And what will happen is once that laser hits the receiver, it will talk its way in to flat line in the center. So it's gonna keep adjusting itself in until it locks off on center. Makes this very, very, very easy to get that sight square and get that all happening. With the remote control that comes with that, we can rotate that base as well. Um, now, the, the remote control is gonna work up to about 30 meters away outside. The auto tracking function will work to around about up to 15 meters outside, but the laser will pick up the laser line up to 150 meters outside. The different buttons on that remote, the three arrows is for fast rotation, two arrows is for slower, one arrow is for ultra slow, which you won't even see in this closer proximity. So we're going to shoot another video on using this laser outside, but this gives you an idea of how this laser will work fantastic for us doing a sight square outside um, in, in broad daylight. So want to find out more information, I'm just going to put, turn that off, put that aside. Always give us a call at 1800 769 858. Look on the website at redbacklasers.com.au and if you've got any further inquiries, always feel welcome to give us an email. I'm Tim from Redback Lasers and um, always happy to help.